All right, so I got my new uh, Legionnaire Murky from buying the BlizzCon virtual ticket. I don't actually really care to watch BlizzCon, but I saw a video by Disco Doggy showing how overpowered Murgle Murgle is. Uh, this ability, I think it's just bugged right now, honestly. There are a couple of bugs with the clone abilities that were introduced recently with the new patch. Because Blood Boil also has a clone ability, but it doesn't work... Uh, I don't know, it kind of works the same way. They're, the clone abilities are just buggy overall. Uh, basically, what it's supposed to do is sacrifice half your health, and then a clone will come out and help you. What the clone does is it just straight up casts your other two abilities that you have chosen with no cooldown and it just uses them randomly. So you want to use uh, cooldown based abilities since it doesn't have a cooldown. So it'll just periodically spam Whirlwind and For the Horde even though it has a one turn cooldown. Uh, does really good damage and gives you a 25% damage buff and also just spams a Whirlwind. So it's just going to be spamming For the Horde and Whirlwind over and over again. The Alliance version can spam dodge, just that way you're like unhittable if you have that one set out since it'll just keep spamming dodge over and over, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to spam abilities like that, but it might be. Whatever. If that's the case, how it's intended to work, it's just going to be a really strong ability. Now this is where the bugs come in. Apparently, Murgle Murgle doesn't go away if it's destroyed by like object destroyer and abilities. So it just stays out, which is a pretty big bug in itself, but I never actually ran into that problem. I did have Split destroyed by a, a Grave, so I know that one goes away, and it's not bugged. But I honestly don't know, I didn't really get to check. I could try it out by just trying to destroy my own, but whatever, that's not important. One of the important bugs is, is that when your opponent switches a pet in, he'll attack immediately, the clone will. Uh, meaning you get like an extra attack, like if you kill their pet uh, and the clone already attacked during the turn that you killed them, like say you attack them and it wasn't enough to kill them, but then the clone also attacks and does kill them and they bring in another pet, the clone will then attack again immediately. Whenever your opponent switches a pet out, the clone will just attack it with one of its full force damaging abilities. And remember, these abilities do full damage and they gain the full effects. So getting an extra attack every time your opponent switches out is really good, like crazy good. Uh, and the clone doesn't go away when you die, so you can just use it and it just stays out and you know does all that damage. Uh, the blood boil one does go away when you die, sometimes. Like I had a match where it didn't go away and it was pretty great. The blood boil clone is pretty cool too because it spams drain blood and it will heal up whatever your active pet is and it heals for a crap ton, <laughs> especially if it just keeps spamming Drain Blood over and over, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, but the Drain Blood decoy isn't as powerful as a Legion one, Legionnaire Murky, because this one has a five round cooldown and it lasts for five turns, while this one only lasts three turns but has an eight round cooldown, which kind of balances it out because it's a really powerful ability. And the fact that such a powerful ability, even if you take away the bugs, uh, that's still really good. Five turns of a clone, considering what it's, I assume it's supposed to do baseline. Uh, having it for five turns is really strong. It's way better than the turrets, even though you can only have one up at a time. Uh, so yeah, that's those are all the things with why this ability is so good. For one, it lasts way too long for how powerful it is. Uh, two, one of the biggest bugs is that it attacks when your opponent switches in, which is ridiculous. And, well, those are really the only two. I wouldn't really call that other one a bug. I think the only bug it really has is that sometimes it doesn't go away when it's supposed to be destroyed. Uh, sometimes it doesn't go away when your pet dies. Uh, sometimes it does go away when your pet dies. So, you know, that's kind of buggy because it's inconsistent. If it did one or the other, I could accept it, but it's not consistent. And, obviously the strongest bug is that it attacks when your opponent's pet switches in. If those are all intentional, which I don't think it is, this is probably like one of the most powerful abilities in the game right now. So be ready to run a whole bunch of pets that have an ability to destroy objects. Because you're going to need it. Ha, huh, I wonder how he's going to deal with decoy. 
Who knows? Let's just try not to die. My whole strategy for Legionnaire Murky is just to live long enough to use two Murgles. That doesn't usually happen. It might happen this time, you never know. I'm gonna go into my Son of Animus because he takes significantly less damage from Mana Surge. He should be able to survive. Especially since he's the wrong breed, but even the wrong breed still hits pretty damn hard. Alright. Um. He might be able to kill him this turn, so I'm just gonna go into extra plating right now. Ooh, I'm faster! Didn't even consider that as an option. For some reason, I thought his Nexus Wobbling would be faster than me. Oops, I guess I'm out of practice with pet battles. Alright, Son of Animus. Uh, just let Mergle Mergle do all the work for you because it's kind of overpowered. It also has this bug, I think, where it attacks when pets switch in. So you just did a whirlwind right now. And he's going to attack on this turn as well. Even though he already attacked last turn. I think all of the clones do that, though. Because I've seen other clones do it, not just Murky. Alright, for this one I'm going to start off with Blood Boil, because I'm pretty sure he's going to go straight into Graves. Uh, Blood Boil should be able to just solo Graves, maybe? Oh, he destroyed it! I didn't even think of that as a option, really. Well, luckily this guy's one doesn't go away when you destroy it. It just stays up forever, so I'm gonna use his instead. Man, I totally forgot Graves can do that. <laughs> So out of practice. All right, let's go into uh, this guy right here. A little murky will probably die in the back row, but it doesn't really matter. It's not a big concern to me. All right, now let's go into extra plating. That way I can outsurvive this AOE pet who used to be super dangerous but isn't really anymore. Um, let's see. Is he going to try to do? Deflection this turn? Or is he gonna go straight into Sandstorm? I would go into Sandstorm right here. But I might also go into Deflection, so I'm gonna use Siphon Anima. Just in case he decides to go for Sandstorm. See, that's a hard one. Usually with these kind of things, I think, what would I do in that situation? In that situation, I was kind of divided. It's like I'm going against Son of Animus, but I kind of also want to get Sandstorm out. So yeah, the Nubusat idol is dead. What? He didn't attack one last time at the end right there? That's disappointing. Especially since Legionnaire Murky is going to die in the back row. No Legionnaire Murky. You can't do this to me. I need you. Uh, I'm gonna go for extra plating. I'm faster than him, so I should take less damage. <gasps> he lived! Awesome. All I have to do is just get him to live a little bit longer and to be able to outspeed the waterfly, and he can use Murgle Murgle one last time before kicking the bucket. Ooh, that sandstorm did not do you any favors, Grave. I'm pretty sure he has consumed corpse. So, if I switch out right now, I can probably get him to use consumed corpse. Ah, he went for a consume. Wow, that's disappointing. <laughs> I was certain he'd go for the consume right there. Because I would go for a consume right there. Because that's the perfect place to use consume. Why is he not using consume? Does he not have it? That's the only option thing I can think of. Does he have Clobber instead? If he has Clobber, why isn't he just using that? I'm pretty sure he has cons... No, I have no idea. I have no idea what this Graves is doing. His... Everything he's doing just doesn't make any sense. See, look at now he goes for it. But, like, why? Blood Boil, can you live long enough to use a split? 
All you gotta do is outspeed the waterfly. Or just live long enough to use it. Good job. Whew, I got the split out, but it killed me. Alright, uh, I don't think this one actually lives. I think it's only the Myrtle one that's bugged. Why did I attack right there? I don't know. I think clones in general are just kind of buggy right now. Come on, clone, attack! <laughs> this one's great because the Blood Boil likes to spam his Drain Blood ability, which heals whatever your active pet is. Yeah, so I'm not gonna die anytime soon. Especially with all of the lasting power I have. Alright, looks like the clone's gone now, but I'm like at full health. Alright. I think that's that that should be good enough to show off this team. Uh the clones are kind of buggy right now. Especially Murgle Murgle. I don't think I really got to show off a really good one to show just how overpowered it is. Uh, but it's pretty powerful. I was just going against people who kind of knew what they were doing to some extent, except that Graves player who was just straight up uh, inexperienced, I guess. I'm not going to say he is dumb. Uh, he'll probably know not to wait so long to use Consume Corpse next time. I mean, if you, the best way to use that right there, which is still baffling to me, is if you know a hit is going to bring you below 50% health, then you use it. You don't wait until you're below 50% health to use it. Uh, but I guess predicting stuff like that isn't really something that happens very often. Or maybe he just out-predicted me, but that's not the case. Because he still waited, even when I had the other guy out. Oh, whatever. <laughs> 